Hello everybody, it's time to get fancy with me, your host, X on the Fancy. So uh the entire holiday season is pretty much over. Christmas has passed, I opened up all my gifts, New Year's is over, that was a lot of fun, and now uh now it's time to get back on track with what we were doing, our Moab Mondays, our commentaries, our fancy clips, you know, that hopefully uh we don't get any more shit markers, but hey, sometimes things happen for a reason, but uh whatever, it is what it is. So uh today we're gonna be discussing uh a topic that's very uh, sort of special to my heart. It's really uh, how I got my start in gaming, or just um, how gaming has really progressed over the years. So, uh, what reminded me of this topic was uh, this weekend I was uh, in Vermont, and in Vermont I don't have uh, internet access at my home, so we don't get like Xbox uh, Live or whatever. But uh, up there we have a very old Xbox, the original one, and it got me thinking. You know, this is really what started off uh, gaming for me. Um, when I was about seven or eight, my parents bought me a uh, Nintendo 64. I really had no idea what I was doing. I would like uh, chew on the cable, not like do anything really with the controller. But uh, my cousin was really the one who, you know, got me started with everything. Uh, I used to watch him play Sega Genesis. Uh, you know, Sonic was his favorite game, or it was fun for me to watch. And uh, he showed me. We used to sit, you know, on the couch for hours and hours and just play. Uh, Yoshi's World, that was like my all-time favorite game on the Nintendo 64, and that was before like, like now you go, kids who are 7 or 8 are getting Xbox 360 Slims, and they're starting off with uh, like the best graphics you can possibly get for gaming, and they're getting PS3s and all these awesome, awesome, cool games, and uh, you know, they never really have anything to compare it to, and I mean, when I see graphics in MW3 or in Black Ops or anything like that, and people are like, oh, these graphics sting, blah, blah, blah. Well, clearly you never played the Nintendo 64 because some of those graphics were, oh my god. It, they were so pixelated. It was like recording in 280p. It was just absolutely atrocious. But, I mean, still, those were the games that, you know, got me started. Um, especially uh, with the Xbox, uh, the original one. Uh, that was a gift from my Uncle Frankie as a Christmas present. Uh, the first game that I I enjoyed so much, which is uh, which was Fable. It was just it was swords and action and arrows and magic and all that cool stuff that I love to this day. And uh, every Fable after that really didn't compare to the first and every like first person shooter and uh, all those other sort of cool games. They they've never really compared. But those those old games like um, my three favorites right off the top of my head. Fable I already said. Uh, Fusion Frenzy. If you've never played Fusion Frenzy. Please, go out, go buy an old Xbox and get that game. Because it is so much fun to play with your friends. You fight, you battle, you do like little arcade games. It's just, it's a great, it's a great time. Um, my third favorite game is probably uh, Cell Damage, which me and my brother still play when we're up there to this day. Uh, essentially, Cell Damage is, uh, it's a whole bunch of different maps. And uh, you pick different characters and they have like uh, different cars and stuff. But it's really not about the cars or the characters. It's like... You run around the map and you have like uh, you gotta hit these boxes and the boxes give you a weapon, so you get like um, a freeze ray where you freeze your opponent, and then you smash them and then they die and then you get points. It's first to 500 wins, so you can like hit them with a bat to get points. You get like boxing gloves, you hit them with that. You can get like a harpoon, a flamethrower, a grenade launcher, uh, a mine, a TNT box. Like it's just all this cool stuff. You can turn into like a helicopter. It's just it's such a great game. If you haven't played that or Fusion Frenzy or Fable, definitely go out, get yourself an old Xbox and play that those three games because they are literally my entire childhood right there. Besides uh, Dance Dance Revolution, that game uh, <laughs> that's so much fun because uh, my parents. I was fortunate enough to uh, most people had the the plastic mats that you would put on the ground, but my parents went all out because we were really. Uh, a group of family gamers everybody got together and we all played together but they got us the uh, metal mats and we just went crazy with dance dance revolution that game was so much fun but it's just so it just goes to show that uh when i got my xbox it just it came so far i didn't even know what the discs were i was trying to put my xbox or not my xbox my uh nintendo 64 cartridges into my xbox and my uncle's going no no you gotta buy new games you gotta put these discs in and um that Xbox really got me entirely started because it gave me Fable, it gave me Cell Damage, it gave me Fusion Frenzy, but it also gave me Halo. Yep, my uh, my uncle Mike 
still to this day, I believe, works for Microsoft, and he got me the uh, original Halo a week before it came out, and, uh, you know, my parents would never buy me rated R games, they were very, uh, they weren't really into gaming, they would rather me be outside, but it is what it is, and um, to this day, that game spawned X Love and Vancy, pretty much, the, the first person shooter that you know me to be. Um, that sparked, you know, the 48 and 0 falls gameplays, the ridiculous commentaries, all that. Halo got me started. I mean, uh, I believe Halo the original was the only campaign that I've ever played in a first-person shooter. Um, in my spare time, maybe I'll go back in like an old Call of Duty Black Ops uh, campaign, but I don't do a lot of the campaigns because really what the uh what halo and halo 2 did for me was it got the multiplayer going it got me and my friends together we started playing and it's so great to see kids who are like seven and eight years old i mean even though they still shouldn't have these radar games because i don't even know why they're radar just because of the campaign i guess because they curse there's a lot of blood and gun and violence but i mean they should I, it's just so great to see these games i mean i know or to see them playing these games because i know people People get all pissed off when uh, when uh, kids in the lobbies, you know, they're eight years old and they got their little squeaky eye faces and all that crap. But, uh, I mean, it's just great to see, you know, I was stuck on the Nintendo 64 when I was little. I couldn't play with my friends on Nintendo 64. I couldn't communicate with people who are halfway across the world. I couldn't say hi to my friends in England. But but to this day, I mean, it's, it's great to see because it's come so far and... It's just great to, you know, see the progression. When people complain about the graphics and all that other stuff, I grew up on on an AMB button. There were no X and Ys on a Nintendo 64. I mean, at least I don't remember there being. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary about, you know, my first what got X Nothing Fancy started. Uh, there's a lot more to come, a lot more commentaries, because we're finally back on track. So uh, hope you enjoy my commentary. X Nothing Fancy. Peace.